Hello everyone, I'm Zath and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be my August manga haul. It's a little late, but a lot happened at the end of August. But now, sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's talk about some manga. I Love Mix-Up Volume 4 Of all the volumes I was waiting for, this was the one I was most excited to read. This volume follows Aoki and Ida as they start to date. This isn't easy and they have a rocky start. Luckily, they both have some good friends who support them. Aoki's expression made me laugh each time. They are hilarious and just so over the top, but they also make sense for this character. This shoujo has a special place in my heart for being such a feel-good story and one the reader can follow along with. Ugh, oh, and that ending was just so sweet. We'll have to wait all the way to October for the next volume, though. High School Debut, Volume 1 through Volume 13 by Kazune Kawahara. This is the complete series. The story is about a girl named Haruna who gave it her all in middle school as the ace pitcher for her softball team. Now that she's in high school, she wants to give it her all again, but now she's looking for a boyfriend. After looking for self-help in all the wrong places, she turns to a popular, good-looking guy named Yo and asks him to be her relationship coach. The whole premise of the story is funny. Haruna sincerely tries her best, even when things don't turn out her way. I've read enough manga to know that Yo's, I'll coach you if you promise not to fall in love with me, was not gonna stick, and I wasn't wrong. I've been wanting to read this series for a while now, and since it's out of print, it's been difficult. But luckily I was able to find the complete series for a decent price and took a chance. I'm glad I did. I really enjoyed reading the series. It has likable characters, comedy, and a good underlying story. I do think there were some hiccups somewhere around the middle, and I think the series could have been shorter. However, I still enjoyed my time with it. I recommend reading the series if you can get your hands on it. I know they do have some omnibuses, so if you like that format, you can purchase it physically, or you can read this series as an ebook. The New Gate, Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Yoshiyuki Miwa. This manga is an adaptation of a light novel of the same name by Shinogi Kazinami. The series is published in English by One Piece Books. I recently did a review on this, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you'd like to watch a more detailed review. This isekai story starts off once the death game has been cleared. This is something we don't usually see. While watching all his friends log out of the game and waiting for his turn, Shin sees a new gate open up behind him with a flash. He then wakes up 500 years into the game's future, where things are different. With its interesting premise, I definitely think it's worth your time if you're an isekai fan. I Cannot Reach You, Volume 4 After the cliffhanger in the previous volume, I was dying to get my hands on the next... Yamato and Kikairu are just too cute. The story is about two childhood best friends who are complete opposites. However, Yamato has had a crush on Kikairu for some time, while Kikairu has been oblivious. But some action in Volume 3 gave Kikairu an idea it's not his mind playing tricks on him. Yamato may just like him more than a friend. You sweet boy. Communication is super important, and we finally see it in this volume. I don't want to spoil it, but the story was super sweet, but we'll have to wait all the way into December to read the next volume. And you know I'll be picking it up. Black Clover Volume 30 I can't believe we're already up to 30 volumes of this series. In this volume, we finally get to see the conclusion of two fights, but the Magna fight is my absolute favorite. The emotion shown through these first pages is something that makes Black Clover great. The majority of this volume focuses on Noelle and Ko's fight, which includes some new forms and spells. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the next volume. Fire in his fingertips, a flirty fireman ravishes me with his smoldering gaze. Volume 3 and Volume 4. Yep, it's that title again. And before you go, Zath, that's just smut. Well, yes, it is smut, but... Soma and Ryu are actually really cute and love each other. I mean, Soma literally puts on a flirty boy vibe, but he just does it to look cool, and he's been crushing on Ryu since high school. Seriously, I like this series more than I thought, but yes, please only read this series if you are of age because it's spicy. 
Sometimes it's nice to read something mindlessly and just enjoy two characters who love each other without too much extra drama. Not to say that these volumes didn't bring their own share of plot, but I think all elements of the series balance well. Volume 4 has to be my favorite with its last chapter being super adorable. What's not to like about an amusement park chapter? If you're looking for something spicy to read with the curtains drawn, check the series out. Bleach Volume 1, the 20th Anniversary Edition by Tite Kubo. Early Bleach will always be my favorite part of the series, so I couldn't pass up this edition. A nice little volume to commemorate the series. Check it out if you're a Bleach fan. Tokyo Revengers Omnibus Volume 1 and 2 by Ken Waiku. These omnibuses are two-in-ones. I also picked up the Barnes & Noble exclusive variant cover that includes a double-sided fold-out poster. The story is about a man named Hanagaki Takamichi, who was once part of a gang of punks in middle school. But now, as an adult, he works a meaningless job. One day, he notices gang violence on the TV report that his past girlfriend has been killed. Later, he's pushed onto train tracks by someone and finds himself transported to his middle school days. Takamichi has a lot to figure out in this delinquent time travel story. If you know me, I'm 100% here for timey-wimey shenanigans, and the bonus of some delinquents beating each other up in some pretty awesome fights. I'm not a big fan of the omnibus format, but I'm glad to at least own this series in physical format. So, thank you Seven Seas for publishing this series for us. Dragon Ball Super Volume 7 Volume 8 Volume 9 Volume 10 Volume 11 and Volume 12 It's been a while since I picked up any volumes of this series, and was able to find these for a great price. These volumes conclude the Tournament of Power and start a new arc that has been pretty awesome so far. This new arc pits Vegeta and Goku against a magic user, which is quite a bit outside their normal beat-em-up style. The Tournament of Power is drastically different from the anime version, so I enjoyed reading the differences. For some scenes, the anime does it better, but overall I enjoyed not having to spend 10 plus episodes on the final fight with Goku. Plus, the manga has some stellar Vegeta panels, and really, he's the main reason I read Dragon Ball Super. Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Edition, Volume 18. This is the final volume of the Full Metal Editions. As you can see, it's quite a thick volume. There are some short little stories in the end, and one of them with Honenheim and Trisha Elric that I have never read before. So that was nice to read. I'm really happy to have collected all these editions, as I said before, Full Metal Alchemist is a fantastic series, and these editions have done the series justice. There's never been a better time to get on board with Full Metal Alchemist. And that, my friends, is gonna do it for my August manga haul. Thank you so much for watching. Do you have a favorite pickup this month? Did you pick up any of these same titles this month? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm Zath. Have a good day.